We continue to commemorate Heritage Month and we put a special spotlight on Heritage Day. We want to say firstly to you, South Africa, happy Heritage Day. Now, talking about tradition and heritage, we want to put a special spotlight on the issue of virginity testing. Now, this is an issue that is contentious and very controversial. Now, if you know anything about virginity testing, is that virginity testing is a practice that determines the virginity of a female. Now, on expressions, we're asking you the question, is this practice still relevant in 2019? But most importantly, is it in contravention of the rights of women? And Fourteen, <laughs> As you Thank can hear, you. we're definitely celebrating heritage and it's yep. splendor here on Expressions. This is definitely the place for you to air your views. I'm your host, Jacqueline Mapala. Kantiga, I'm your host, Mgolisi Wagomasango. This is Koma from our headquarters in Auckland Park, Johannesburg, this Tuesday evening. Now, the 24th of September is observed annually as National Heritage Day. Now, South Africans use this to celebrate the day by remembering the cultural heritage that makes up the population of South Africa. Now, today on Expressions, we spotlight the cultural practice of virginity testing. And Mkul, this is a very important issue because every year, thousands of young women around South Africa are tested as to whether they are still virgins or they are not. Now, this culture, these cultural experts argue that virginity testing gives the opportunity to educate young girls about sex as well as their sexuality. However, However, this practice has attracted much criticism, with many calling it a violation of human rights. So here on Expressions, we are asking you the simple question, is this practice of virginity testing still relevant in modern day society? Well, Jackie Gixenjalo, as Expressions, we of course spoke to girls who proudly take part in the practice of virginity testing, and this is what they had to say. Take a look. <laughs> Ukhlolo <laughs> Nangsa 
Kunja Muntoazi, I call in the Lugusa Muntoa, was a leg and Nakuna Sagas of Sala, Sakubez, he puts a guy, he sees Ashumias and Mogusil and descends. I say, his hand. No good see Lababati, Bashumese, no good see Umdala, his hand, and Daisa, what do you mean? I say, you know, Cosina City, Ashumese, because then descends our side hand and decide Kayan. I go on with the little Mele Ikube, and Mova Nati, Saitakubas, I wait to Conavas, I wait to Babe Sol. So, why is Kayan and our mother's born as Kubega sends a little Babe Yen? So, Nati so Kayan must born a bantana to Benza. And of course, on this very important topic that we're speaking about, I'm now joined by Unesha Mase Unomesho, as well as from the Commission for Gender Equality, the chairperson there is Tamara Matebula. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Thank you for having me, and thanks to your listeners out there. Thank you so Thank much. You. Now, as you might know this by now, the best things always come in too. My co-host is joining me that side, and of course, she's going to be making sure that none of your comments go unseen there. Jackie, you good to go? I'm definitely good to go. I'm excited about the show. Let's do this. Now, Tamara, I'm going to start with you in this very important conversation that we're having. You know, the practice of virginity testing, the commission has come out to strongly condemn it and say uh, and describe it as, um, you know, a violation of the girls' constitutional rights, violating their dignity and their right to privacy. Can you please expand on that? Thank you for the question. I must say that... Um I think from the Commission's perspective, you must um, acknowledge the fact that we are a Chapter 9 institution, uh, one of the six Chapter 9 institutions, and I must put a disclaimer up front mm -hmm. that we, as the Commission for Gender Equality, we are not a cultural commission. There is a commission, CRL, that is responsible for cultural issues. But however, if they infringe on certain human rights as well as gender issues, this is where the Commission for Gender Equality comes in. So basically, to just give you a very quick answer, I must say that this is not the first debate. We have had very controversial debates before, and some of these debates basically are by, you know, the far left traditionalist activists as well as the human rights or the gender activists. And we don't normally see eye to eye. But where I want to start with my response is that, look, we have the supreme law in South Africa, which is the constitution of the South Africa, South Africa, as well as Bill of Rights. If you look at chapter two of the constitution, it talks about the rights of everyone. Mm -hmm. And the constitution and the Bill of Rights, which is the cornerstone of democracy, do realize and recognize that South Africa is a multicultural country. So we acknowledge that. We are not against any cultural practice. We are not against any cultural practice done by any pe person in South Africa or citizen. But what we are saying is that we must all observe that some of those cultural practices must not or do not infringe mm -hmm. on certain human rights, mm -hmm. who may or may be minors and may not have or give a consent to actually go through the culture. So you felt Ukshola is one of those practices that... Ukshola is one of those practices that we need to look at, whether it's infringing or it's not infringing on human rights of the young girls. Mamusha Mase, Njobo Suizuela, Mam Tambe Mongas Tata Usbegas Tombe, and Tambe Angel Asagens, you saw Kunisegi Sagoti, and Tambe Gonke Kambang Angel Fanelli, Jobo Sunzilo, no Tamara Nakulumati, is the Fan and Oklola, the Dinga, which is Bugisi Segabans. Kusuguzi Ekloluin isn't Abandana by Tandelazon. Umabez or Usugulo sent to Guti, Conabez was a weak king. Ukuti yini engi itanda wa yini nga itanda. Ngoba, ivi nome nga bu abuse wa umalume, oru baba. Ngoba kona ba ripa bandwana baba. Gea konu kushesha kubambeka. Ngobu mduana nomu nga mpa inu mtembi sisipamu, umese majijin, aguko lula. Ukuti asabe, ugusho, nuguza gumamo, unomethu, ukuti na kusekuga. So, umumche kutole leo provele before niye doktrin, nbe nkubega ni umbu upisi. Ngoba iskata se pilwa guso manje esezi fo e nyi asafa nesakal. Now, Tamara, when you have, um, you know, a practice that spans 
years and years, you know. Um, how do we really make sure that uh, we still have those cultures preserved, you know, but still also have that watch body as you guys are saying that you'll need to review it? How do we <coughs> ensure that we work hand in hand? Uh, yes, definitely we do work in hand in hand as the Gender Commission as well as the Commission for um, that is responsible for the rights of culture as well as religion. For an example, not so long ago, and uh, last week, uh, Thursday and Friday, I was in the northern KwaZulu-Natal in a place called Utugela, mm -hmm. Utugela, a district municipality, mm -hmm. where we were working hand in glove mm -hmm. together with the district municipality, mm -hmm. the leaders there, and the community that was still practice. this in regards to the bursary? This is with regards to the maiden's bursary. Uh -huh. And we went there not to actually condemn mm -hmm. the bursary itself, but we were saying, let's look at how the bursary has been actually conceptualized mm -hmm. and whether it's not excluding some of the children who may not actually be going through the practice. Mm -hmm. For an example, let me give you an example. In, uh, in Ulundi or in Utugela or in any other district municipality for that matter, or anywhere in the country, or even outside the country, because we know that countries like Uswaziland, we still do go through a uh, redance all right. and all of those I things. need to quickly we go to an ad break. Can yeah. I just stop you there? And of course, I need also Umam Shamasu Uta Pef Mole, but yes. that will all be when we come back from the break. And Bugele now, Lapakaya, do make sure that we are going to come on and I think we're going to go Facebook and go Twitter. So, Kubega Masbuya. This is Expressions. Welcome back. You're still watching Expressions, your number one youth current affairs show here on SABC One. We're talking about a very contentious issue on the show tonight. We're talking about virginity testing. And at least the poll question that we're asking you tonight is, is this practice still relevant in modern day society? And of course, I am joined by my beautiful girls who are going to take part in this conversation regarding virginity testing. Ladies, Nyan Amugela. Cool expressions. Um, ladies, Nizwi Lene from from the table as well, Uti. There were a lot of concerns, and I, I think maybe let, let me start with you, Nozizwe uh, Mokwena, who is from Azibuye Emasisweni. Emasisweni Cultural Organization. Um, the concern around Uti, this is a violation of the rights of girls. I mean. What, what is your take on that? Do, do you feel that the girls are being violated or is this an important practice that needs to be preserved in our country? human rights so so in advantages, maybe I must ask uh, the girls, uh, for you, Sisi, um, do you think Uguti le practice of Fangusi continuing Ayo? Um, and I think most importantly, Ufunda ni gashle gashle. Man ham ban yo solwa, i ni gashle gashle ni funda ya man labo. Savona Sisi check, i kamalamu sepezi shoga mavundi. Um, I think it will continue and into a C funda gui part and look intact again in it. And as it was the age group, the age gap, uh, in, in terms of the age, um, who's the youngest? I, I think best cool man, I would see who's the youngest 16, 16, and then the oldest is 25. 25. So maybe give the mic to maybe to, to the next girl. So if if you are a 16 year old or you're an 18 year old um what do you understand why why is it important why is it valuable to you i meaning ya khona yini ukuthi uhamba uyohlolwa hayi sis jeki okhuluma yo ayandwa kashabalala um ukuhlolwa yinto e right into endla ukuthi sikwazi ukuyiphatha kakhulu ngasho ukuthi 
Kumaina second hours a strata, a bafan and an nine, cause we are to small solar, who begin in Oxola Waco, even though Abantu was Kulum with no Usola Ranjan in no Ayuko on Kelero, Xola Gashinje, see Petega Shinjing on Yukumut Nabo. Muskuranga Bafan, Moba Nyaz, and Jaguti, Amanta Mazana, Infantini, Patega, Shen, whatever. But what about what about the boys? What what about the men? Uti Nina, okay, in a standard, you would okay, but by and by and fundisa, you're socialized properly, you you are taught properly. But what about the boys? About Abafana by a solo. And why not? Okay, Los is Jackie, come on, Pindilogam Timbo. Abafana, Abasolo. How I? I live here among Yaz, Kinsini, Moba, I equal like him to twin Yabon. Um, Munimbus. Mm, but if fair, maybe take it, to, maybe take the mic to, 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 the, to, to the next girl. If fair, Lento Guti, it's only girls, but but when it comes to the boys, Abasholi, is that fair? So I want to say, Jake, I'm going to say, Channel Okumayo. I would see Abafana Abasholo, Okona, Mukoso, Gushwam. This work on which now bus pass a lunch and how to put up the ever lunch and demand in this fashion. Okay, all right. Well, Mubahedu Kai, I mean, as expressions, you know that expressions is nothing without you. And you've heard some of the comments that are coming from the young ladies. There's definitely a sense of pride, there's a sense of, you know, uh, loving and, and feeling that there's value around this cultural practice. But of course, you're always part of this conversation. And we have a WhatsApp note. Please roll that expression. Hi Expressions, I'm Nedi. I do believe that virginity testing is still relevant and necessary. I mean, cook vigela, a different letting in fire cuts from my STIs, HIV, and plain or teenage pregnancy. So, by legging, it's my fun, but then it won't as slowly. Okay, so another person who definitely supports this practice. I think, Nosy, maybe let me, let me end with you before we go to, uh, to to the ad break. I mean, we're, we're commemorating e, e Heritage Day today, and there are lots of young women who are watching the show. Maybe, again, reiterate to us, why is it important for us to make sure, Uguti, this type of cultural practice and many other cultural practices remain intact? Why, why must we always protect e culture yet? Okay. Okay. Quizulan is land delay. Ugutsi Sazu Gutsi Sivilla, Pinjong or Sas Fundus, or Ekal and Gutsi, a Sasana Makosi, a Makos in Jongo Shaga, Guzifia Manji and Gosinu Babzul Tin. Logo Gusundus or Ugutsi, Sizaz Gutsis Kamgab, Gapanjo Gutsu, Umzulu, Uyeni, Gotanjo Uzaz Gutsu Ubani, Futu Uzaz Gutsi, Ukach and Gosigolaco, Uzazin, Gwenanje, Gapagati Nangapanj. Nyabonga, thank you. Thank you so much, ladies. I think you've definitely given us a lot of food for thought. And as you've heard, there's a sense of identity. There's there's almost even a sense of purpose around, you know, how these young ladies feel about themselves and the culture that they represent. And maybe the question really is, are we maybe criticizing this cultural practice because we're looking through a very westernized perspective? I don't know. It's up to you to uh, sort of make that decision. And as my co-host always says, tell a friend to tell a friend that the hottest current affairs show is right now on we'll be back right after this <laughs> I guess Pindis in being a little snam gale. Now, is the practice of virginity testing still relevant in society? Now, that's the big question. Now, Mr. Masi, I was saying, Jela Wuti, when you're going to be 25, right? And you can't And you can't get a lap. 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 And you can't get a a life in Yab, Moba, wears good, women I yield a magician. O beginning in what? Is cut some fun and no man a shy flate, no man shy wood, Ungrena, upper Puma, upper eight rule, and Mobu as good of fun and a life in. The most thing Gana say to Labandana Zin about eighteen years, fourteen years. Go manj, Lago corner about twenty five, thirty years. A bag have been abandoned. Buy as good life here be hoop. A banya by Oshat. Lum Tava Tilia Tand, who to mean don't be seized Zoba, who no matter what sass is his over Lilis. All right. Abba PC, Pon, so Valilis, who takes us to say Tata Elinia Clat, Logio Baumam, or so Bau no matter what sass and I, Connor Zoba Colis. In Jenga Manje, Banninga, Babezile, Bazova Lilisa, 
abazi ukuthi bafunane life in abanye bathi bangenzume imundlo bathi baqedile bayinikele bafanele umfana i hit and run usuke funa ukuze ukuthi yini virgin labo mama bahlale bethi baliphetha ngoba kazalithole uthola ukuthi impilo yomntana se emotionally uthola isiki uthola umntana ongezubana baba uzokunmaintain ukuba ngoba kwayena uthola ukuthi akana bazala uphila nogogo udla ngogogo lokho manje ke yakhona ukuthi bakhona ukufokusa abazi ukuthi bayaphi kuma nje ke laba bamile khona abenzi nesini khona ama admin in in ngoba babona benje bayakhohlwa o because bese bezala kunomehlo wabo bese ngisho nje ngithi hayi bantu abame ngibolekile le ophasela mbiyeni buye ngizobona all right. Now, Tamara, when you hear Ness Shamase speak so passionately, you know, about this culture, you know, um, I want to know from you, you were in Utugela uh, mm -hmm. to deal with the matter of uh, the controversial bursary, right? What are you saying? Are you saying the bursary must be scrapped? Basically, when we had our conversation with the Utugela uh, district municipality leaders, we were looking at the bursary itself and we were saying the bursary should actually be reviewed because it excludes other young people who may be virgins but not going through virginity testing. For an example, other race groups don't practice virginity testing and there are young girls who are still virgins. So it must actually look broadly. And secondly, we were even advising them that sometimes you'll find that a young virgin girl of 13, 14, you send her to the shop, she gets raped on the way or be raped by umalu menjengoba eshilo umama umama laitu ze wameshut. Abo malu mebaya ba rape abantu ane makai. So that girl was a virgin. But because was raped by Umalume, it means she's no longer, uh, you know, a, a, a part of the of the bursary. I have to thank you so much for your time, ladies, mm -hmm. and I wish we had more time to speak about this very enlightening conversation. Very I'm enlightening, sure. very enlightening, and I think we're just going to go straight into the poll question. And what we ask you tonight is: Is the practice of virginity testing still relevant in modern day society? And the numbers came in, and a whopping seventy percent said yes, and thirty percent said no. Go. Wow, interesting indeed. Now, Mbugeli Lapekaya, do we have a video diary today? Can we please we roll video the diary? video diary please quickly? Expressions, my name is Simpiwe, and um, for next week's topic, can we please discuss the issue of um, English versus our own indigenous languages? Why is it that uh, nowadays we're speaking English instead of Ukulma, Amalangu, Sekaya, Zulu, Sotu, Swati? Why are we speaking a lot of English? <laughs> Looking forward to that. So we're going to have to wrap up the show. Thank you so very much for watching us tonight. Yep. We're getting signing out.